So we'll look at our file system and let's break down the POSIX permission system. So I'll do a long listing here. And you'll notice the way things appear. Let me move the cursor. Over here is what it follows. In this case, we have a soft link prefixed with an L. These are directories prefixed with a D. Um, you know, in this case, f files or objects would have an, uh, an appropriate prefix. The way that uh, Linux divides things up, um, there's three categories that you have. Um, these first three here, we'll take a look at this directory, is these permissions belong to the owner. Now, this next, these next three here, this belongs to the group, and these last three here that I'm highlighting, that belongs to other. Now, other is kind of like everyone uh, that you're used to in, in Microsoft Windows. So it's just kind of, you know, anybody who's not in the group and, and they're not the user, well, then they're automatically in the other category. Um, now here we have read, write, execute, R for read, W for write, X for execute. So you have permissions that are listed this way. Now each of these has a numerical value. So read has a value of 4, write has a value of 2, and execute has a value of 1. So for all permissions, they're, they accumulate or they're cumulative, so it would be read 4 plus write 2 plus X1, so 7. That would be all permissions here. Now here, if we were going to chmod this, the, the command chmod is what you use to modify permissions. Um, this would be a 4, it's read, and this would be a 1, it's execute. So 4 plus the 1 would be 5. So you have 7 here, the combination of all of these. 4 plus 1 here, that's 5, so 7, 5. And the same thing here, read is 4, x is 1, add them together, that's 5. So this particular directory here, if we were going to, you know, if we were going to create these permissions, or we needed to create these permissions, we would have to use the command chmod, and we would say 7 for all of them, 5, 5. So that's kind of the way that it works. Um, let's try that. We'll make a, we'll make a directory. And we'll call it top secret. And again, I need to sudo. Got to get used to being in Ubuntu again. Okay, and there's our top secret, and let me I don't like uh I don't like the way I spelled that, so Boy, that's a bit of typos today. Um, let's go ahead and call it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now this will be called top secret. Um, let's look at the default permissions, and this comes from the umask value. Matter of fact, we'll look at our. This is our default umask value. This means no special permissions, which is a fourth category we're going to talk about in a, a minute. Um, and, you know, in this case, UMask is sort of the flip side or the inverse of permissions. It defines what permissions are removed by default when you make something. So I made this. I, I haven't used chmod to assign any permissions. Here's my UMask. So no special permissions. And again, notice, nothing funny here. Otherwise, you'd see S and T if there were special permissions there. So none of that was removed. In this case, none of the root permissions were removed. So if none are removed, that means 7, right? That's all permission. And by default, see, that's what we got. The root category here has read for, write to, and execute one, so that's seven. Now, by default on the umask, two is removed. Now, remember, two is write. Remember, uh, read is four, write is two, and execute is one. So, write is going to be removed for both the group and for other. And if you look here at top secret, again, here in the group category, there's only read and execute, no write. And there's only read and execute and other, no write. So that is corresponding to or according to that umask value. Now, I had a little bit of a, it's a little little bit of space here. Now let's say that we wanted to change the permission and give, uh, in this case, root and root. I'll, I'll tell you what. Let's first change the group membership of top secret. So the owner is root. Um, use the command chr uh, group or chgrp. And let me sudo that. And let's change. 
Let's change who. Good guys. All right, so now I'm going to do a, a long listing. And in this long listing, we're going to take a look at top secret. You'll notice now it's no longer root, but we've changed group membership to good guys. So good guys owns top secret and not bad guys. Now root is the owner here. Um, if I wanted to, I could change the owner with the ch own command. And again, um, if I wanted to change the owner to, let's say Dr. Evil comes in and he takes over. Um, and I need to sudo that, and I miss. Remember, Linux is case sensitive. So, a lowercase or uppercase where it shouldn't be, and it won't recognize those commands. Alright, now if I go through, look, if you notice, Dr. Evil is the owner of the directory top secret, and Good Guys is the group. Now, we can't have that, so let's change ownership back. And in this case, we'll change ownership to. I think I'll take ownership of it, so... And let me sudo that once again. Okay. So let's take... Let's take a look at that, and now we can see that C Germany is the owner, and Good Guys is the group here for Top Secret. Now let's try the chmod command. Let's say we want to give good guys all the permission. Now good guys only have read and write. I mean, uh, excuse me, read and execute. Let's say we want to give them read and write. So we're going to do that here. I would say chmod 777 and have my number pad turned off 777 and that's me and now I want to say 7 here for the group and I'll continue 5 for other in this case. Okay, now let's take a look at our permissions. Uh, again, we'll do a long listing, LSL. Now if you look, now in this case the owner, which is me, C Germany, has all permission. The group, which is good guys, has all permission. Another still has only read and execute. They, they don't have write privileges and top secret. Now, in Linux, if you don't have execute privileges, you're not even allowed to traverse or change into a directory. So be aware of that. If you decide to remove the, the execute privilege, then th that particular user or group um, will no longer be able to change directory into that directory. Sometimes that's what you want, but not always. Um, we're going to go into top secret. And there are no files in here yet. We haven't created any. We're going to use a command called touch, and we'll make some files. That'll be our file called deathray. And... Let's do world domination and master plans. And we're going to do a ls-l. And now you can see, um, in this case, we have three files, death ray, master plans, world domination. And let's look at the umask here. In this case, 002. So no, no, no permissions were removed. Since I created these files, I'm the owner of these files. But what we want to do is take a look at a few here. 